Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy launch day, happy Friday. I was just running around like crazy and it's hot and humid and sticky here and our AC doesn't work. So you guys know, those of you hopping on, <laughs> you guys know that I get like extra hot doing all the changes and running back and forth and, you know, talking a million miles per hour, everything that I do. So be prepared for that to happen this launch. I'm like mentally preparing myself because uh, with AC not working and it being so sticky and humid here, 90 something degrees here. I don't want to, I do not want to brag. Many of you are saying I'm freezing. I just saw a comment saying good morning from freezing Canada. Minnesota, my dad's in from Minnesota and he said they're expecting like eight to 10 inches of snow tonight. And so I told him go outside and soak in the humid 90 degrees, okay? Oh, okay, cold in my part of the woods of Wisconsin. It's probably out rainy and cold. So anyway, we are gonna get started. We have a big launch today. We have a lot of things to talk about. I'm starting off in a couple of things we're talking about. For those of you joining us for the first time, good morning. Welcome to our live launch. My name is Melissa. I'm the owner, uh, co-owner and founder of GraysonLace.com and designer. So here at Grayson Lace, we design and create our own items. Um, to help you look good and feel good. So you're shopping with us, our new releases today, which are part of our spring line. Our spring line launches through April, and then we head into summer. You guys, I cannot believe it is almost April already. So um, we have some tanks, some rib, rib tanks. We have our windbreaker rain slash rain jacket that is packable. That This is something we've been working on for over a year, if not even more like a year and a half. In three colors, we've got biker shorts in two different lengths. One of our best sellers last year at our seven inch, we added an 11 inch, we're gonna talk about those. Uh, we've got some twill, suede twill joggers, one of our most popular materials in a new pant style. We have a striped sweater as we transition temps, okay? Plus, oh man, you guys, I'm gonna start dropping stuff here. Plus, not only that, okay, the girls are in the back. They're gonna get out. They're gonna come out in all these things, different sizes to show you what they look on. But we have a couple announcements. One, sample sale, mark your calendars, is May 6th, Saturday, May 6th, 8 a.m., get her early, a line starts early. Okay, what is a sample sale? A sample sale when you make and design your items like we do here at Grace and Lace is the items that we make in the process of creating garments. So you go through multiple samples, we go through fit samples, we go through size set samples. There's even designs that we cut, okay, on the cutting room floor, meaning they didn't end up going to production, but were designed. So lots of unique items. A lot of items that you see currently on our site may be in different sample prints from um, the factories. We Our prints are bring, is like our fabric is being made. All these yarns are being made. The colors are being dyed. We fit in like sample yarn and sample materials and print. So May 6th, Saturday, May 6th, be there. Guys, there is tons of tons in sample sale, unique finds, one of a kinds, okay? Um, it really is a great thing. People fly over, fly from all over the country to come to our sample sale. So one day event, we have two sales going on right now on our site at the same time. We still have our teas and tanks sale going on right now, okay? So this is a buy two, get one free mix and matchable in our teas and tanks category on our website. So click on sale, click on the teas and tanks, and you can pick out your perfect fit tanks of all time that you need to restock and refresh in. We've got our perfect pocket teas, slim and stretchy, super comfortable. This is the time to stock up, okay? If you need a refresher in your closet on any of your perfect fit tanks, perfect spaghetti strap, okay? Just everyone needs white tees, right? And then you're like Amanda behind me in the back who buys multiple white tees because she just knows. She's like, I know I'm gonna get dirty and just buying multiple. Now's your time to stock off when those are the sale. We also have a shorts sale that just, I think this one just started today, right? Short sale, 20% off. A lot of denim shorts in this category. So it excludes our new um, shorts that we've just released. I think there's a couple exclusions like that, but we have a lot of our denim shorts, okay? Button fly, nice dark wash on these. Cuffed, we've got some light washes. These are all marked down, 27 bucks. What is this one? Another one that's 27, okay, at the 20% off. We have some longer inseam lengths for those of you who don't like short shorts, okay? We've got longer inseam lengths on sale white denim short this is just a sampling so that is another category on our website click on the 20 part the sale shorts i think we just call it 
I don't know, the great short sale or maybe the short sale, but even non-denim shorts too. So sleep shorts, lounge shorts, um, these are our linen shorts, okay, are all 20% off um, right now. And I think that's not with a code. I think it's just like it goes activates in your cart. Someone correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, okay? Okay, um, let's, can we get started, you guys? Is that all? Um, there we, go. we talked about that. We, um, I think that's our sales. I feel like I had a lot to talk about in that. Let's go ahead and get started because we have a lot to talk about in these new releases um, today. So we're starting off with this one that I have on. This is our shelf bra, um, shelf bra ribbed tank. Actually, I don't even know why I have this on first place since it's going to be a million degrees anyway. Okay. This, you guys, is your perfect kind of sporty to the, uh, the, the side of sporty, okay? But there's also a side of, of trend to this. This type of kind of, what did we call this neckline? This high neckline, kind of halter-ish type of style is a big trend right now in a lot of tops, okay? A lot of crop tops like this, a lot of sports bras like this or whatever, okay? So we wanted to give you a style that kind of offers that unique higher neckline, okay? You can wear it sporty, you do not have to wear it sporty. You can do what I did, just throw on chambray, a plaid or something like that over this. Perfect going into like the warmer months. Now, it does have two colors in this, and I'm gonna show you kind of up close what we did here, wow. Okay, this is your black, standard black, match with everything. And then we call this one purple sapphire and it's a good bright color. It's looking, I got hot lights on me right now as well, gonna make me warm. Um, but it's looking a little bit brighter in the camera than what it is in per per person. But it's a really nice deep jewel tone purple, um, that sapphire purple color. I'm gonna bring this one up close so you can see the ribbing um, better in the texture on this. Okay, so it's ribbed. And it's our material, so it's a stretchy, stretchy material. And then the inside does have this built in. I'll pull it out for you guys to see. Nice and stretchy, okay? Nice, soft, stretchy, ribbed, built in shelf bra on the inside. Okay, no padding, nothing like that. Can you guys already tell? I'm already starting my nice little glowy sweat. Maybe I should get that close to the camera. Um, I'm going to say this runs true to size. This is a fitted style. Now I'm between sizes and I did, I'm wearing the extra small now. And in your true, if you're between sizes and go down, you're going to get that slim, real slim fit. Okay. Um, the small offers me nice, like support through the, you know, the, the shelf bra underneath, but then is roomier at my waistline, making it not as slim fit. So for you yourself, I would say it is a slim fit, fitted design in your normal size. Some might prefer to size up to get a little bit looser. If between sizes, you can absolutely go down, but you're gonna get fitted, or you can go up for a little bit looser. I wanna say I can equally wear both. This one definitely, you know, it's got the stretch, but it is a good, it's a fitted, Okay, <laughs> extra small is a fitted take on me. So I think I'd probably, if, if I'm going on like a walk or a run, a jog, whatever, I probably would do this. If I'm looking for like fashion reasons and don't want something that is like tight, I still have plenty of stretch. But the, the small offers me like a baggier waist option, if that makes sense, okay. Oh, so many questions. Okay, perfect neckline. Yay for this neckline. Happy to see summer clothes. We're expecting five to eight inches of snow, someone says. Now, Marie, I have my normal bra underneath. Hey, good question. She said, can you wear a normal bra? What I do have and what we're going to talk about at the end of this is I have one of our bra clippies that we launched today, okay, that took my normal bra and converted it to be a racer back in the back with this. I've got this on underneath right now, okay? Connecting my normal bra. If I were to let that out and take that off, which I can do for you, okay? It's going to, um, I'll show you what it does to my, oh, oh, hold on. Um, it, it would show a, well, actually, you know what? It depends where your, Denise put this on me. There, there we go, okay. Um, it it show it it will depend on if your bra comes um, like a demi, which is more on the outside. I get tangled up in my hair. Okay, okay. So there is where without the bra clippy, that is where like my normal bra would be. And you can shove. You can kind of you can kind of like 
cheat that a little bit maybe and not wear one of the clippies okay and um shove it under it we we purposely did not go super racer back i did want to show that we did not do racer back on the back it is just a high neck and more of an exposed top shoulder coverage on here that gives you this flattering type of look in right in right now okay so we didn't go super racer back which does make it safe um in the back okay you might just so i guess i'm to answer marie's question um if I'm going to be wearing something over this, like I had that plaid on, I would probably wear my normal bra and not even put one of the bra clippies on because to me, that's not so much like exposure with just kind of like, you know, shoving it under there. But if I was wearing this, you know, with like a pair of pants, high-waisted pants, then I would use one of our bra clippies on my normal bra. Of course, you do not have to stack your bras underneath this. You can use that shelf bra is functional um, you know, for support. It's just going to depend on your, your personal preference if you want to. But that is exactly why we have these little, little bra clippies, this little piece right here, which we're going to talk about um, a little bit later. And I'm going to show you how that works. Okay. Okay. So extra small on me. And like I said, it's a fitted, fitted top. I know you guys are going to want to see the small. So we're going to do that. I'm going to bring the girls out and I'm going to put the small on for you. If I have one, where did they go? Didn't I have a small somewhere? <laughs> I thought I had a small. Maybe I don't have a small. Can I grab a small of one of these, please? I thought I had, did I set it somewhere? <laughs> yes, I've got it. Okay, here we go, sorry. We got small. Okay, Kylie's in this. Kylie, are you in small? I am. Okay, Kylie's coming out in it, and she looks sporty. Okay, we're gonna talk about these shorts in a second. So the sporty <laughs> look. So you're talking about like if you, you're like, Going out and about, you're gonna be outside all day, all day long, and you need to be cool. You have warmer temperatures coming up, okay? And you, this is like your perfect kind of at leisure type look, especially with the kind of the biker short type of look. But you don't have to be that at leisure type of wearing. You can actually wear this kind of like a classy ribbed type of shirt, just mm -hmm. kind of going to depend on your preference. She's in her normal size small, mm -hmm. okay? I told you guys it was gonna happen real quick. <laughs> and then I just went, excuse, excuse if I have any deodorant because I'm running at a mile, million miles an hour already. Okay, here's the small on me. So can you guys see, maybe I should have I I should have put the blue on for you because black is hard to see. But I get still like very nice, like fit shape through the bust line. Okay, it is looser through the bust and then looser in general through the body. But now it's not like fitted, fitted. <laughs> yes, if you can say, okay. I don't think, Jen, for busty, I don't think you need to specifically size up for busty. It would be more so if in general you don't want it to be fitted. In your normal size, it will be fitted. Be because I'm between sizes, the, I'm like the perfect description of between sizes in this because I get roomier and like a relaxed fit through the body and nice like room, like still, you know, great room here through the, the bust and then going down makes it more of like fitted, fitted look on me, okay? Okay, questions on this, let's bring out Natalie's in this one. Okay, so she's got the look where I'm gonna say, like you don't have to go sporty with this. You can do kind of this whole high neck trend type of a look, throw a jacket, throw a plaid, pair of jeans, okay, flip flops or whatever. You can layer this and not have to have a sporty look, which is what is great about this top, okay? Do you have the bra clippy on too? I do. Okay, I do so she's got the bra clippy on too to pull back her normal bra. You don't have to do that. You can do strapless. You can do, there's a million other bra type options you could do or just use the shelf bra, okay? And then you're in- I have the medium. Medium, okay. I would wear a large for my bust. Okay, if I was so she, this is fitted on her in a medium, but I think it looks really flattering on you. That doesn't look too tight. The you shelf bra's in the middle of my bra. Okay. <laughs> okay, so she prefers to go up. So maybe to answer the whoever said busty yeah. question, um, if you are, like if you are between or if you're more comfortable with a roomier fit, then go up in this one, like Natalie's saying. She would prefer the large. And, and Natalie in general likes a little bit more room um, in her tops than being fitted, so. That kind of depends on your personal look, personal preference look too, okay? And then Michelle in this one. So totally layerable, okay? So you can use the color, the, the sapphire can be, you can use that bright purple as a pop of color or kind of layer it for a pop of color underneath the Komodo, okay? Something like that. Really pretty, nice and flattering, great neckline, okay? It really, really offers that great coverage, nice and supportive with, the, with that extra 
kind of sports sport not sports bra not sports bra but shelf bra underneath it okay okay any questions on this crystal yes there is a new she said is there a new fanny pack the um our belt bag is returning and in a new color they're the third time fourth time how many times have we done this i don't know fourth or fourth time third time um it is returning in black a new color is coming and there is a new style coming as well and we will launch them to you as soon as you get oh i forgot to have the girls turn around i'm sorry you guys now i do not have my the bra clippy on and here you can see the coverage at my back is actually pretty great it is not a racer back it's just a little bit we give this flattering look coming up and that nice nice high neck right here okay okay any questions on this one before i move on okay um rebecca we designed this one with a shelf bra because we get a lot of we get a lot of various there's a lot of polarizing people in this people who really really want shelf bras in their design people who don't what we found with this is it gives you the ability to not have to wear a bra most people don't want their bra strap showing and maybe don't want to wear like a little clippy option don't want to wear a um strapless bra or whatever so we put it in here to give you the option of having that security and not having to wear a different style bra that maybe you don't prefer. So this style we felt was sporty. We wanted to keep it with its sporty look. We did add the shelf bra. If you don't want the shelf bra, you can cut it out, okay? <laughs> um, but really, or you can still keep the shelf bra and wear your normal bra underneath. It's It gives the best of both worlds and lets us kind of appeal to both people. Okay, let's go on to probably the most excited thing that I'm... <laughs> I'm wanting to talk that I'm excited to talk about today is our packable rain jacket. We have been working on this. I had pictures from a year and a half ago for forever, and I'm so finally glad these are here just in time for your April showers. Okay, working to bring our Mayflowers around here. Three really fun colors in this design. I'm going to show you how this works and what this does in a second. Okay, so we have Lagoon is here we have dragon fruit i think we called it okay and aquamarine three really fun colors if you're gonna be fun a rain jacket is a great place to just bring a fun color in now what i wanted to do actually this idea came to me um, when we are on our RV trip to the Grand Tetons, okay, because I had to pack rain jackets. You just don't know on camping trips when it's going to rain. And I felt like I really wanted to pack something that would be easy to clip or to carry in a backpack to put this in a belt bag. I knew my kids would all need them out on hikes. So what we did is make this fully packable with its bag in attached okay i'm going to show you watch this how freaking handy this is okay so you just take this it's raining and you're like oh no i need need a rain jacket right okay you pull it out you put it on okay and you're like i'm ready you're ready for the rain we added all the features to this to truly block out uh rain and i'm going to show you how Okay, you've got the ties here. Okay, you've got great. <laughs> I feel like I need someone like spraying water at me right now. Okay, you have, we, we gave you all the cinch pl places that need to be cinched. We gave you great hood depth so you can really keep this off of you, off of your face by cinching that. Okay, our pocket flaps here, there's even flaps over the pocket, okay, to prevent rain. <laughs> Okay, kind of brush off the rain going down in these two front pockets. You have it cinchable here at the bottom. You can either cinch this off at your hips can you tell how passionate I am about this rain jacket? Okay, you can cinch that down at your hips, or if you wanted to bring this up higher, okay, at your waist, tie this off, and then you needed to like, you know, wear it more like that, you could do that. It's got the elastic. There's nothing, I realize when you're in rain when you're camping that is worse than a rain jacket that does not have elastic <laughs> because the rain when you're like trying to camp or whatever is like running down your sleeves so we made sure that we put elastic here in the sleeve to really prevent the rain okay so zip up now watch watch okay this is where the fun comes in <laughs> like, yes okay okay this is where right here is where that little packable it's attached okay you don't have to find your bag and your camping stuff where you're like looking for where's that bag that I need to pack this back up in so I can put it in my backpack, so I can put it in my glove compartment, so I can go in my bike basket, whatever. Okay, it's attached and it's right here. 
plus it doubles as an interior pocket, right? Genius. Okay, do I get like, can I get five stars? Can I get any confetti stars? <laughs> Something like that. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming in. So you can drop your phone in here. You can put sunglasses in here. You can do keys in here because your that cinchable pocket is still cinchable on the inside as well. Okay, so you can really protect your keys in there. Great for hikes, back. I mean, anytime you guys stashing in your car, there's always a need. <laughs> Last second, right? For a rain jacket, and this is the best one. And um, just it's more of that windbreaker. We've done rain. We've done a rain jacket in the past. This is more of that like windbreaker type of style rain jacket. Um, so it really just kind of repels, you know, it's light, it's stuffable. It's just kind of like, you know, it's light, like it's not a, a stiff, you know, rain jackets that can be like stiff or whatever. Okay. That's not this. This is like your wind windbreaker type of style. Okay. So what you do when you're ready, okay, it's done raining. You're going back to hiking. Wish I had my, <laughs> my, my shorts on is you go to your pocket. Remember that little inside pocket right here. And then all you do is have the pocket facing towards you and just start grabbing and gathering. Okay. Shove, 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 shove. And then you find your little tie, shove your little ties in there. Okay. And here you go. And you have the little, little drawstring thing right there. That's it. That is what you do. I don't know why I didn't even make these in kid sizes for my own kid sizes, okay? So it's cinched off. You carry this, stash it in your car, glove box, camping gear, okay? I, I can't tell you how many times I've been at like a kid's soccer game, a kid's flag football game, and I'm like, why do I not have something in my car that I can just run and grab and throw on right now while it's raining, okay? So, um... You see that? I that's I think the most fun part is like stuffing this back, <laughs> stuffing this back in, um, and then the fact that it's a usable pocket on the inside, and that you don't have to find a lot of packable things. The packable bag is not attached to the garment. I can't tell you how many packable things I've bought that the garment, the bag gets lost. Some kid put it somewhere when they took it out of the bag, and then it's just not packable anymore because you, now you never lose. Now you never lose your packable bag. Okay. So um, let's talk about sizing in this and then I'll bring out the girls. This is a size small, um, between an extra small and a small. Um, I would say this runs, this is a true to size design. So between sizes, I would suggest going up and it's, then it's just going to kind of depend on how much you plan to layer. If you want these oversized, okay? Um, so size small on me, this is the size I prefer. I would, I could probably wear the extra small. I would, if you plan to like need heavy layering or something like that, you could even go up um, again. But I think everyone in there is mostly in their normal size for a jacket size, okay? Trish says, so hard to choose color. They're all fun, aren't they? Okay, that was really, I was like, you know, here's the thing. Rain jackets are just meant, they're not a fashion statement, okay? <laughs> but if you're gonna add a pop of color, this is a fun place to add a pop of color and not really care, okay? It's just a rain jacket. And for those of you who are like, you know what, I don't want a pop of color, We've got the basic blue, like we call this, do we call it Lagoon? Yeah, but it's a nice, just basic blue color. These are more, I guess, the, the um, aquamarine and the dragon fruit are more your fashion colors, but this is more of a basic color. Um, so, you know, I don't know. We just really felt like this was a fun place to throw in the color option on this, okay? Yes, Renee, you could absolutely just use this as a windbreaker, okay? I know that there's people who you, it, it is, it's more of the windbreaker type of feel and styling, but it has the water resistant um, treatment on the fabric, okay? So someone said, um, is it waterproof? So waterproof, people actually, there's a wrong definition of <laughs> waterproof, okay? Waterproof means can you actually like go like to take it underwater, take the garment underwater? Um, no, so you can't like, we were like saying like, can't go swimming in the lake with this or whatever and not get wet underneath. So it's water resistant, but it's not, there's, you know, there's there's zippers and things like that. Things that are truly waterproof can't have a zipper because water is going to actually, get, if it's submerged, is going to get through the zipper and things like that. So, but if you're in a rainstorm, if you're caught in a rain shower, if you're out needing to walk the dogs in the rain or whatever, this will keep you dry um, underneath being the water resistant, okay? Yes, Wendy rather Renee, absolutely. Um, you can 
wear it as a windbreaker. You don't have to use the water protection feature in that. It is a great outdoor jacket for that reason. Okay, Erica said, can you feel this inch closer? No, I cannot feel this at my hip. I can sit in it just <laughs> sit in it just fine. Um, if I wanted to, I could cinch it, you know, and turn it like I kind of showed you. You can turn it into more of, um, what's that called? Like a hip, you know, jacket, turn it under a little bit. Um, like that, depending on if you want to cinch that or not. Okay. Oh, Kathleen said perfect for Easter baskets. What a great idea, Kathleen. This would be a great Easter ba basket. Just stick it in there nice and stuffed up. Okay. And then you're going to like go to your kids and be like, wait, I need to show you how that bag works on the inside. Love it. Great idea for that. Okay. Kylie and this, let's bring them out. Um, can I tr throw, uh, I can put on a medium. Yes. If someone can throw me a medium, mm -hmm. I can put on a medium. Okay. Kylie's in small. size small. Okay. And so she has the, the windbreaker style styling. <laughs> okay. She's not cotton rain. So that's like the styling sporty mm -hmm. sneakers. Okay. She's got the biker short. She's like working that like style look. Okay. She could release the hip just fine. She could yes. wear it open. Um, we're just kind of showing you the versatility of having those ties and having that function there. Okay. So size small on her. Yep. Um, yeah, Marcy, I think they're working on throwing me a medium and then I'll do that for you. Okay. Um, Liza, the wash, uh, and Instructions. If you follow the wash instructions on the garment, they will tell you how to wash it, and um, the it does not affect the um, the waterproofness. Okay. Um, okay. Any other questions on this? Does the cinch on the stuff on the bag rub? No, I cannot feel this at all. The cinch is actually on the interior of the bag. Okay. So the way that this works because you're actually reversing it out. Know, it's like when we're working the tech department on to getting this right, is it actually sits, the, the little dauber, what is this called, cinching dauber, is actually on the interior of the pocket bag because you're kind of like, I, I don't know how to explain that. It like, it like cl collapses inside of itself, okay? So no, I don't feel that, I don't feel that at all. Now if I had like keys in here, if I had sunglasses in here or something, yes, you will, obviously if it's bulky, you will feel it there, but without anything in it, no, you don't feel it fine. Now, if you're someone who's like, I don't want that at all, which I don't know why, because it really is a, a great feature, but you could, I mean, sadly, you could um, remove the bag permanently, but I, you don't feel it, you don't, you can't tell it's there, it's just, the, the windbreaker material itself is light that you don't even know it's there. Okay, Natalie in this. Medium or large? Medium. Okay, medium on her. So you guys really, it's, you know, that lightweight jacket, it's just kind of going to depend. Normal size, I would say true to size fit. If you want roomier, for some reason your jackets go up if you plan to layer it for that reason. Okay, but just um, easy to put on, easy to throw on, and gives you a um, windbreaker type look in the region. Okay, okay, thank you. And here's medium up on for you. Okay, Michelle in this one. Okay. So kind of same thing, just like great to, you know, again, we're not really making fashion statements, although the colors are cool. And she's got the lagoon, that's the lagoon on, on her in extra large, okay? Okay, any questions on this? Could you use the cinch bag and cinch up? Yes, and that's what I kind of, that's what I showed Lorraine. Um, I'll show that again. This is medium for those who wanted to see medium on me, okay? So medium gets like roomy and yes, so the cinch you can use, like you can drop your keys in here and that's what I was going to show you, is you can cinch this up and use the little cinching dauber. <laughs> and then can you see, I, it, that's all closed up. So yeah, your keys, your valuables or whatever could be on there. So hiking, um, that's great. You, you do still have the functional flap pockets on the outside, which can be flap covered pockets, but for valuables, keys, wallet, okay, whatever, you can use that functional, functional there. Now, again, remember, you take it off. Oh, this is medium. Sorry, you guys. Medium. Um, Amanda's asking, Natalie, is the medium, if you zip it, I didn't realize she didn't have it zipped. If you zip the medium, is it snug on your hips? Okay. No. She said no, it's not. Um, so you guys see medium is a lot roomier. Okay. Overall and a lot, a lot, a lot of room through there. Okay. Now I'm just going to show it one more time. I know I'm over time on this segment, Paul, but I need to show it. Okay. So grab it like this. Okay. Put face this out and then just start. Look at this. Okay. Start shoving it packs in there. And then here's your little tie. And 
you just pull that tight and then use the little okay and yes it fits i'm gonna steal it off the mannequin okay those of you wondering it fits in our belt bag so disney this would have been so freaking handy because we just had those plastic ponchos which are annoying as heck okay um, in fact, you could even fit two of them or maybe even three in there um, because they also do pack up tight. Look at this. Okay, so you can squeeze them down. They pack up really tight. Okay, I'm sorry. I went long on this. I'm passionate about it. I think it's literally the best thing ever. Okay, okay, let's move on to, can I go next? He's like, yes, please. Okay, pocket, pocket biker shorts. Last year, we launched our pocket biker shorts in our seven inch inseam. So these are our um, daily leggings, okay? Daily leggings material in our biker short length or fit, okay? So same fit, same. It's got the same high pocket options on both sides. It's got this long or high, sorry. It's got this high yoga style waistband with no elastic in the top edge, soft elastic here to stretch nicely at your waist. These are comfortable shorts, just like the leggings are, okay? These aren't made for athletics. They're not made for like, you know, weightlifting sports. Like they're, they're made to be a comfortable, soft, nice and stretchy biker short for walks, bike rides. <laughs> Hey, I'll be wearing these all summer, oversized tees. Hey, you can put the rain jacket with this. Um, and then we did our signature high pockets in this, which is the difference from the pair from last spring. Last spring had lower hip pockets. Um, this is the same design, except that the pockets are the higher hip and they don't have the seaming down the sides of the legs. Last year we had the seaming down because we dropped the pocket down, okay? So this has the high hip pockets very stretchy waistband on this stay in your normal size and then the two links in this okay here's the seven and here's the 11. so the 11 inch gives you that full coverage okay full length i think it comes down pretty much well to the top of my knee um so if you're someone who actually like would ride these biking or on walks and you like longer inseams this is for you on the 11. i actually love the 11 too i just think with like longer tees oversized tees the 11 is nice coming down it really does come down to about the top of my knee let's bring the girls out in this these and i think they've got a mixture on of seven they've got a mixture on of seven and sevens and seven and elevens Oh, is Stacy and Carl coming? I have to ask Stacy. Stacy, you guys, we all love Carl. Carl, Stacy, if you're on, I don't know if she's on. I need to tell her. Um, we need Carl back, don't we? I feel like Carla hasn't come in a couple of years. We need Carl back. Okay. Um, Terry, these ones have been, this one has been in the bag. Um, so yeah, it is going to have the wrinkles being stuffed in the bag. But honestly, heat and humidity, um, we'll pull those right out. And honestly, it's a rain jacket. Like, please don't. You don't need to steam. You don't need to pay attention to rain jacket. But yes, if it's wadded up, it will have being wadded up in there. This one was wadded up in there, as you can see. It will have the wrinkles. Um, but hanging it, wearing it, and rain getting on it will let those out. Okay. Okay. Um, cute. Okay, come on. I think you've stayed in this outfit, haven't yes. you? <laughs> okay. She's got the seven inch on. So same mm -hmm. inseam length as last year in these. Mm -hmm. um, it's got that nice, high, like comfortable, stretchy waistband panel. Okay, not digging in anywhere. She's got a kind of athletic look, dropping out the shoulders. She's got mm -hmm. sunnies for the whole <laughs> look. Okay, and normal size small. Yes. That's right. Okay, yep. and then Natalie and these. Okay, 11. Okay, I can always tell you, I can look down at their knees to see where they're <laughs> 11 inch on her. So they're coming right to about the top of the knees. And you're tall, five, five, eight. Five, eight. Okay, coming to the top of her knees. Um, but that gives like the good coverage, good length. Maybe you're not a shorts person, but this one you would be a shorts mm -hmm. person in. This is a good option for you. Medium, mm -hmm. okay, medium on her. <laughs> and then Michelle, I'm speeding, I'm going through fast. <laughs> okay, Michelle's an 11 as well. So the 11 and seven fit the same. It's really just going to depend on if you want kind of the shorter mid thigh or the longer legged option. Okay, Michelle in her normal size, extra large. Okay, any questions on this or on these or anything? I would say if you've got our daily, uh, midweight daily leggings, these are same material. Same pocket location. You don't have to wear the pockets. The great thing about, or use the pockets, the great thing about the pocket location in this is that you don't necessarily have to use them. 
Like you can wear a longer shirt and not have any of that seaming or pockets coming down visible, um, which is really nice about that high hip location on having them both. So normal size, if between sizes, I go up, I just like a little bit more room in my shorts. I always kind of have. Um, so I go to the small, but I can wear this extra small as well, just like I can in leggings. Um, so between will just kind of depend if you like them a little bit more looser, a little bit more tighter, otherwise stay in your normal size. Okay. Um, Belinda, she says, I love to see, see these on a shorter person. Kylie is five, five. I'm five, six. They, um, I mean, they come like just 11. Honestly, you can measure your own inseam. <laughs> you can grab a tape measure and measure down 11 or measure down seven. And that will tell you where those hit on you if you wanted to see. Okay. No, Erica, they both fit the same. They both, they're not smaller. They both fit the same. Next up is the, oh, straight leg twilled pants. Okay. These, you guys, are, those of you familiar, you know, our, our suede twill joggers are a home run design, okay? We have sold thousands upon thousands of those in everything from camos to colors to blacks to wine to olive, okay? All the colors in those. That material is what we did in this style of pant. If you know, you know, is what I need to say on these, okay? The material of our suede twill is something you literally just want to touch over and over. It is a twill pant, okay? So you're not really gonna see, but it's like a pant, nice pant structure. But the way that this is brought, like, finished on the outside gives like a really soft, the only word we could really come out with is suede. Now it doesn't look like suede, it doesn't like touch like suede, but it almost, can anyone help me? Does anyone have the suede twill joggers there that can explain, right? It just has a nice kind of comfortable yet structured feel on the body, okay? So we did that suede twill jogger material and put it into an ankle straight leg pant with a dramatic belt style. Now, if the dra dramatic belt style is not for you, then you just pull the belt out, okay? It just comes right out can pull it out. You don't have to use it. You don't have to have it. I personally love it. I think it adds a little bit of just something, um, but it just is removable. Okay. So then it looks like you're kind of typical, you know what I'm like, chino type style um, pant. Okay. Work pant, not dressed up. You can tuck in. But if you're a bodysuit wearer, this looks really good with a bodysuit. Nice and classy. And then you have that ankle straight leg and ankle length. Now, if you want them, depending on your inseam, we were we were cuffing them on the models. We felt that that looked and brought like kind of a dimension of a little bit more casual look to this, especially with like a sneaker or even with a sandal, cuffing it, and then it makes it a little bit more cropped because it is ankle length, okay? Now, some of you with longer inseam, it will be ankle length, like it'll be cropped maybe length without even rolling it or cuffing it. Or of, course, or of course, you could get these hemmed if you prefer a hemmed length in them, okay? Okay, so many questions. <laughs> um, I know, these would be perfect in blood. They're all saying, what are, we need a bunch of colors like we have in the suede and the joggers. I know, I know you do, okay? This is a really, really good, deep kind of khaki mustard with a hint of that mustard undertone. Really, really pretty now. You'll find a lot of stuff in your closet that we make intentionally that has this color in it that goes really really well of course looks really good with black okay for like a workwear type of look with a black sandal nude sandal with this um and then likewise we were talking with a team this looks really good this color would be really really well transitioning into fall okay the great thing about it is it's not a light khaki um, because it is going to have a fitted look so you're not going to see the lumps and bumps and things like that we made it a good nice and deep um, Dijon color that uh, allows for that like concealing a little bit. Now talk about sizing and then we'll go on. Sizing is, okay, these are similar but different. <laughs> They're cousins, I think we said in the in the definition. They are cousins to your suede twill joggers, meaning um, same material but different fit. They don't have the elastic in the waistband. They have the functional button and zipper right here. The pockets in the front um, are functional and then it has faux pockets in the back. You guys know I do this. We do this on purpose. I do not like seeing pocket bags on my butt. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so these are faux back here. These are not. So you got the welt look of the nice booty pocket, but you do not have a pocket bag. They're not functional, but these are functional. Nice pockets here. Nice deep pockets here in the front. And then again, the belt does come with it. Pulls out for optional. I'm going to put these on. Let me make sure. Now, oh, sorry. I was going to talk about fit. And then I'm bringing the girls up. 
similar but different same material different in that it doesn't have the elastic at the waist fit is going to be the very similar to your suede twill joggers many of you size down in those which you probably can in these because the material as you know does relax a little bit with wear we like this style tending you're going to see it on me to have that relaxed type of kind of look on the body and not just stay stuck in we wanted to use this material to kind of get that relaxed casual look in the body so I can wear the four works perfect for me fits perfect for me it does give me a little bit more of a relaxed look the two it gives me more of a fitted okay like a skinny jean type more of a skinny style type of look on me in the two being between sizes so um and then it will relax a little bit with wear so let's put these on let me bring out i'm gonna put the, the four on for you okay kylie are you ready in these yes and you're in your six, six. Okay. oh cute she's got the bodysuit on with this so <laughs> dressing up for the workplace this is a great solution um, for that because it really, really gives me a good, like, glassy type of, I don't know, I keep saying the word chino, and I'm not supposed to use that word because it's not, it's a chino, it's actually a fabric, yeah. but it gives a nice kind of classy, put together, workwear type look, and that's what she's got with the bodysuit, okay? Yep. Okay, and normal size six. Yes. Okay, with a little bit of a heel. This is, this is the four. Whew, I don't this out. So, Joanne, um, the material itself has a little bit of stretch. It does have a little bit of stretch. You can see it here, and maybe I can show you a little bit better here. The material does have a, okay, a slight bit of stretch, so it does. Um, and it does relax with wear. That's why most people, so the fours are very comfortable on me through the waist. I love the belt, putting the belt on, okay. Um, Jana, I would say they're a mid, they're a high mid rise. They are just right at, just right under my belly button. Okay, um, Lori, the waist. If you can size down in our jeans, um, you can you can probably size down in these. Okay, if you if you do wear, maybe I should say it like this. If you wear, if you sometimes wear two sizes in our denim. Um, you can probably wear, you'll have like a, a two size, two size in this. Okay. So I don't know what I just did there, but you can do like, you can tighten bow. You can do a little thing like that. <laughs> I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Um, I, I would stay in your normal size and know that they do, um, they do relax a little bit with wear, but that's what makes them so a four and you can kind of see. So starting off in the four. Um, like I have a nice, like it's a very, very nice fit and it does look probably a little bit fitted on my booty, but I know that's going to relax. Nothing feels too fitted on here. Now the two does start out feeling pretty tight on me. Like it feels like a good, like snug, skinny fit, but because I know they're going to relax and here's the length, um, the ankle length on me at five, five without them being, being rolled. Okay. Size four. So. I can wear the wear the four and I do get a little bit baggier. They still stay up fine, especially stay, you know, with the waist being tied. I just get a roomier fit and I get a little bit more than not a skinny fit in my booty. The two starts off tighter and then of course I just don't relax as much. Okay. So if you're between sizes, that's where I would say you can probably you can you can do both and it's just going to depend on the fit that you prefer. Let's bring out where 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 am I at? Natalie's up. Okay. 10? 10, 8, 10. <laughs> I had to guess on top of my head. So, um, and she's got the belt on. She's got them cuffed, okay? And that's kind of, I like the cuffed look in them. I just think that brings in a little bit more of that casual type look, okay? So that's her normal size and bottoms. That's the size that she would prefer and wear. Okay, super cute. Michelle in these. 16? 14. Okay, 14. Why don't do I need... <laughs> Michelle's losing a little bit of weight. I told her to stop because she's beautiful the way that she is, okay? But she can start to do a little bit of 14s in ours, okay? She noticed that with um, the Wide Lake Premium and a couple other designs, okay? So you are going to see her a little bit in 14 some just because of her weight loss, okay? But super, super cute, um, super cute on her. And like I said, you're going to see a lot of, have a lot of grace and lace things in your closet that work so great with this color. Okay, any question? Penny... <laughs> I knew I was gonna get this. Penny said, "Are they gonna? Are you gonna have any other colors?" We did not make them in any other colors. Start there. Um, I don't know. Ask Amanda. 
<laughs> Amanda. Um, these take, this material takes us a really, really long time to make. I don't even know. I don't even think we could spin out other colors in this, even in time for fall. We're designing for spring 24 right now. So maybe, maybe next spring we can have them in a couple other colors. Okay. Um, okay. Let's move on because I am over time. Uh, striped sweater tee. What did we say on this? We said nothing is better when you're transitioning temps. This is the kind of the top that you want for transitioning weather, okay? Now, a little bit of throwback in the colors here. We just thought it was really fun. And of course, this, you know, works with the pants that I have on too. But it is a nice, slinky, stretchy sweater. Very, very soft, okay? Very lightweight, nice and airy, and has great stretch. Now, this type of design um, is a, what's this called, Dolman? Dolman design. Okay, so it does not have, hold on, it does not have, I'm going to put it on, do I put it on over this? This is not going to look too good. I would not suggest putting this over black, <laughs> anything, so you're going to see this, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so um, it is a dolman style, hold on, Ugh, I'm all out of it, Ugh, wearing <laughs> Wearing a fitted tank under it does not feel good. Um, I'm going to pull this out so you can see this, so I can uh, show you just a little bit better. Okay. Okay. So it's slouchy, okay? And it is stretchy. Oh, you guys, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done this. I feel like I'm not, I'm not I feel like I'm not doing this justice. Um, and, and it feels really uncomfortable with a full tank. <laughs> Little tight tank underneath it okay and it's nice and airy and stretchy um perfect okay as we as we transition weather so this is extra small now because of this type of style of fit where it does not have a sleeve it does not have a shoulder okay it does not have a seam or a sleeve this is going to feel bigger on your body than the types of shirts that like have you know what i mean that have like a built-in like if there was a sleeve here okay so because of that this is an oversized type of style. So I would say if you are between sizes to size down in this, if you know you do not want an oversized fit and want it to fit closer to your body, that would be another reason I would size down in this. So most people, I would say this is one where sizing down is probably the best option unless you want to like, I can put on the small, hold on one second. Unless you want to like, Pull it off the shoulder, make it like more of that slouch, like really play up the oversizedness. That would be the only reason of really like um, between sizes going up in this. Yay. <laughs> okay, let's bring out. So here's small. So if you wanted, uh, sorry you guys, I'm like, wait, I'm a hot mess. <laughs> okay. If you wanted to get the slouchy oversized, okay, more of that like, um, more like almost more of like a tunic slouchy tunic um much longer okay it nice like it drapes hangs then then if you're between sizes go up but i think most of you even true sizers who usually don't size down some of you will probably even um, prefer to size down in this one just based on how it feels on the body and how stretchy that the knit is in the body okay let's bring out kylie in this one you guys no ac is killing me right now <laughs> So stinking cute, okay? A pair of shorts, hat. I feel like she's ready to go like somewhere. And here I am with like a black <laughs> tank hanging out of this and feeling totally not put together, okay? Um, so she loves, she has a tag. She's got a pair of sandals, okay, on with it, the little bag. She's like mm -hmm. festive and perfectly perfect for these kind of transitioning temps. It's not a hot sweater, but it is a sweater knit. It is nice and stretchy and nice and airy. Normal size, small, small. or did you mm -hmm. go down? Okay, small. so she's a small one. She could, uh, pretty much everyone is going to be able to size down, even in your normal size. This is the small on me, and I prefer the extra small, but um, it just kind of depends on how much of that slouchy type of look you want, okay? Okay, let's, um, Natalie, miss. did you size down? No, medium? medium. Okay, she's in the medium, and you see, it's just nice and airy. Like, part of this fit is we wanted to make sure we kept the airiness to it so you didn't literally feel like you're in a hot sweater so having that like just kind of airy nice and relaxed give it a little front tuck okay um you have a cute look cute with a denim too she's she's in medium which is normal size okay and then we have do we have two options on you uh, I, this, I can put the other one on this, this is the large okay so michelle is an example where she's 
she went down to the large in this. She's normally across the board and extra large with us, okay? But because of that knit, nice and stretchy, and not having a set in sleeve to really have a bust fit in this, that gives you the room and the ability to go down. But she doesn't get very oversized then at all going down. She doesn't have that oversized type of room, okay? Okay, um, any questions on this? Russell? Mm. No, I think they're okay. I've got, now, keep in mind, this this is not my bra. This is a very high tank. So my bra is down here. So I it would be fine. It's showing the tank because the tank is higher than where your bra sits, of course. But you're not going to, like, unless you're, like, really in, in up in there next to someone, like, like you're, you're, the, the, the arm opening's not big, okay? It's not gapping, it's not huge. You would really have to like be up in someone's face, okay? Nobody wants to be that. And I need to not be up in the camera how bad I'm sweating, okay? Okay, any questions on this one? I would say it is oversized. I would say some people in their normal size will prefer to go down for that reason, um, unless you want that slouchy type of fit, okay? Mm. Next up, the compass necklace. Um, these were actually supposed to launch at the same time, but we, this one, for some reason, didn't come in at the same time. So it is here. They were supposed to launch as, um, black and silver together. So we released this a few weeks ago in the, um, not black. Oh my gosh. Gold, gold and silver. We really released the compass necklace compass necklace with the opal stone center in the middle, um, a few weeks ago. So it's now available in silver for those of you who are silver jewelry wearers. And then last but not least, our bra strap clippies. I'm going to bring, now we did not invent this. Okay. Mm, did not invent this. I wish I would have. This is really, really handy. Okay. It's a three pack comes in the nude, the black, you get a three pack nude, one nude, one black, one, um, clear. Now what this is, is the plastic piece. I'm going to bring my little my little mannequin friend over so you can, I can show you. What it does is this bra strap clippy converts any strappy bra, normal strapped bra, normal strapped bra into a racer back style. Okay, I'm gonna use black so you can see it better, okay? So um, we are gonna have a video up in the listing that shows you, ah, sorry, that shows you the how-to of how you use this and how you put it on yourself, okay? So essentially, you're just gonna pop your, your bra strap through the edge of this over your shoulder so you can do that when your normal bra is on. You're gonna reach across your back, okay? And you're just gonna pop your strap through the middle, okay? Just like that. Now, then you reach down and you can kind of push this down or up of where you want, like where you need your shaping or where of where your halter style or whatever kind of top is where you don't wanna show your bra straps, okay? And then in the front, you can see it pulls the straps Okay, so you, some of you might need to loosen um, your straps, you know, based on if you, based on where you, like if it pulls it too tight for you. Um, but that's all it, now the great thing about it is you don't feel it at all. That was my biggest concern. I'm like, am I gonna feel this plastic chip thing in my back? You don't feel it at all. So that's really, really handy. You just pop this in and you can do it yourself. And the way that you do that, oh man, I feel like I should show this, but I don't know. Uh, the way that you do that is, let me show you, see if I can show you. It might be hard on the camera this way. But you put it on, okay, pop it through this middle section, can you see? Like this, okay. Or you go this way, sorry. Um, at your shoulder, and then you're gonna go to your back, and you're gonna reach across. Um, I don't know if I can actually, well, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to have not a tank on. Uh, well, wait, maybe I can do it under. Well, normally you wouldn't do this. Okay. You don't do it with already having your top on, basically, <laughs> is what I'm saying. But you just reach around your neck. Okay, so make sure your strap, oh, don't do what I just did, which is twisted. So make sure it's not twisted. And then you reach back here, and then you just shove your other side bra underneath the other side, and then just push it up or down based on where you need it. Okay, see how it slides like that. We'll show you a video <laughs> that makes a lot more sense, but it's really easy. You can convert with any really um, bra strap width um, as long as, you know, there's just room in here for, we tested it on a lot of different bra strap widths. And then just the other one going through on this side. Okay. Ah. 
Okay, any questions on this? It comes, like I said, in the three pack and you don't, it sits like between, it sits between your shoulder blades, which makes you not, like not be able to feel it. I'm gonna, in my try on stories, I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna attempt to video myself doing this. <laughs> It might be as rough as this one just looked, okay? But um, you really can't, it, it will stay, it doesn't move, and you don't feel it. It really, really is handy, okay? Okay, any questions? Again, you guys, I did not invent this, okay? It's not my invention. There's all kinds of them, but I have war test, personally, a bunch of different shapes, a bunch of different sizes, and this is the best shape. It really, really is. It sits the best, the vertical, it keeps it in, there's not open, angles that you can feel. There's not open edges that you can feel. It really is the best. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it. That is it. Oh, it does come in this little package that kind of shows you like step one um, of like, that's what your normal bra looks like. And that's what it looks with the clippy on. Um, and then we'll have the little scan here, which will show you that video, the how-to video. Okay. That's it. I'm signing off. If you guys have any questions or anything I didn't address and nobody got to your question or whatever, if you, you have further questions, um, make sure to go on our Facebook Grace and Lace VIPs page. Um, anyone, any of the girls can help you there. Answer your questions, show you colors, show you pairings, talk about fit, okay? Um, there is not a launch next Friday because of Good Friday. We are off. We are hoping that the truck arrives in time for a Thursday launch next week. So keep your ears open, stay on our VIP page. Um, that's where we'll announce it, but I'm pretty sure, I'm 90% sure that we'll have a launch next Thursday. So mark your calendars. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.